Scared that you'll always be single, no matter what. That every single time when you wake up in the morning and you look in the mirror and you think to yourself, damn, I wish I was more attractive. I wish I could be more like all those other attractive guys I see in school, but I don't know how. I will always be unattractive. I will always be the, the guy who doesn't get the girl. Is this something you've ever, ever thought to yourself? Because I have. And, and it sucks a lot. I went from being that sort of like antisocial kid who didn't take care in his health or physical looks at all in any way whatsoever, who had a bunch of acne, whose teeth went, was all out of place, who just didn't really give a shit about how he looked. I went from that, believing that I could not change the way I look no matter what, in a space of a month to literally almost becoming a new person. I ditched the old me. And I'm gonna to reveal to you the five things that I did. First of all, how are you? I hope things have been good and I hope you've been all right. Getting straight into the video, the first one, and it's probably very undetected, it's under the radar. A lot of people don't focus on this and that is your lips. This is something that a lot of us, a lot of guys, I think, don't really pay attention to. You know, I was going through my teens and then I went through my sort of like, you know, typical college parties, you know, hooking up with people, like kind of that sort of like hookup culture and it wasn't, it wasn't great. Um, but then, you know, I was like, ah, oh, they got my first kiss, fuck yeah. And then started dating quite a few people. And then oh, I was, I was just one single sentence that made me just kind of like quiver to the bone. Sort of in the middle of making out with someone and then they kind of just like mentioned, you know, your lips are kind of dry, your lips are kind of chapped. It's not really nice. Hearing that, imagine hearing that. How the fuck do you react to that? <laughs> what do you do? So there is something that I did that changed this. Don't make the same mistake that I did, right? If you've got really dry, chapped, sort of like lips, no one is gonna want to kiss that. It is not nice. No one even wants to look at that. So when you brush your teeth, after you finish brushing your teeth, run some cold water, get your toothbrush wet with the cold water, and then gently brush your lips to get rid of all that excess dry, dead skin. So you get rid of that sort of dead, chapped look. You don't have to brush really hard. You can do it quite gentle and that's more than enough to get rid of it. And then after, get a little bit of Vaseline right? Get a little bit of Vaseline and literally dab your finger in like the tiniest amount. You don't need a lot. Literally like dab it in for a second and then put it on your lips and smear it around. You do not need a lot. If you literally like put it in too much, your lips end up looking really glossy, almost like porn star lips. And that's, um, I don't know if people would like to see that. <laughs> Just your lips super shiny and glossy and stuck together. I don't think that's attractive. <laughs> so you only need like the smallest bit. The next one, the shampoo that you use. As a guy, I don't know if like, I don't think women do this either, right? They kind of pay attention with what products they put in their hair. They are a lot better at this than majority of guys are. Not everyone, obviously, but for me, I was not good. I kind of just picked the first thing that I saw, like shampoo, that does your hair, that's good enough. And I didn't realize how bad the shampoo was killing my hair. And when I actually started researching about this, 99% of shampoo brands use this, and that's sulfate. 99% of shampoos use sulfate. Now sulfate is the cleaning product of the shampoo, right? However, the downside is because it's such a cheap cleaning product that it strips away your hair of the natural minerals and it leaves it very dry and very irritated and is actually killing your hair in the long run. You know the reason why people say like, oh, you shouldn't wash your hair every single day because it's, you know, you're getting rid of all the natural oils that you need. That's because of sulfate. And trust me, it is gonna be hard to find a bottle that doesn't have sulfate. Like it's gonna be really hard. I was looking through the whole of boots or every single shampoo had like iridium something sulfate. Every single one had it. And I, it kind of made me think like, oh fuck, yeah, like every brand uses this. Like, wait, why do we not know this? Because it's not illegal. It's still a cleaning product. It's just a bit of a cheap cleaning product. The one that I use is Natural Bulldog. Bulldog um, shampoo for men. So that's one that I use, but there's another one that's really, really good. 
uh, if I just whip up on, uh, it's Dr. Groot. It's a Korean shampoo, and it is very, very good. It's sulfate free, and it's very good for hair growth as well. Both of these you can get off Amazon. The next one is cloves. This is something that I never used to be good at. A lot of my friends were, they had much better style than I ever did. I did not. I did not have good style. I couldn't. Well, it's not that I couldn't. It's just I didn't care. I just didn't care. I was like, eh, pick up the top piece of clothing on the pile of my giant pile of clothes. And I was like, eh, this will do. It doesn't stink. It's not got a stain on. It's okay. But then I didn't look good either. I kind of look like a tramp, <laughs> like the majority of my clothes weren't clean. So when I say clothes, I don't mean you have to go out and buy super, super expensive, like branded clothes, because obviously a lot of us don't have the money for that. We can't just go out on a spending spree and buy a bunch of clothes, which are super expensive and branded. Buy clothes that fit you well and that are just good quality. That's it. I'm wearing a shirt right now. It fits me well. Could, I, I could bulk up a little bit more and fit into it better, but we'll get to the, we'll get that at that point. But I've got a shirt, fits me well, it's less than £60, it's £59, but it's from Crew Clothing and it's very, very good quality and very good material, and very comfy to wear. When you're buying clothes, or you're deciding to get a new pair of clothes, don't go for like, oh the super expensive branded clothes, just go for the ones that are best quality, the ones that suit you the best. Spend time figuring out what works for you. You know, maybe some guys look amazing in gym clothes, but they're comfier in smart clothes, like shirts and stuff. Or maybe some guys <laughs> look amazing in a suit and tie, but just love wearing gym clothes. You need to find out what works for you, and you need to get the best quality of the clothes that you are getting. And that fit you well, because trust me, they will make you look a thousand times better instead of just picking up some shitty, like, fucking Primark, like, <laughs> clothes that's got stains on. And the next one, the gym. Yeah, I know, this is where, like, 90% of people will click off, so if you don't, congrats, you're in the 10%. I'm proud of you. But yes, gym. It's like what they say, to look good in clothes, you've got to look good naked first. I mean that in a complete, wholehearted way, not in a creepy way, okay? Start going to the gym. You don't need to go super ham like a lot of gym rats. You don't need to go two hours in the gym every single day. Enough to start for your first month is three times a week. 30 to an hour. 30 minutes to an hour. Maybe just 30 minutes, that's fine. You just go three times a week. That's not a lot, but it's enough to start making a difference. A lot of people don't talk about when you first start getting to the gym. The first thing that you start to see as improvement is not only your strength, but your jawline. And I'm talking about weightlifting, weightlifting and cardio. Start going to the gym, and the reason I say this, even as little as three times a week, you'll start seeing improvements, not only in your strength, but your jawline will start to show. And if you wanna look good in clothes, you do have to look good naked first, because then clothes will fit you better. And then the last one, get a haircut. Trust me, haircuts are important. I need to get one actually, right? I'm gonna get one soon, but this is something I never used to do. I would literally go months upon months upon months. I'm not even joking with you. I would go months without a haircut. I would get one haircut and be like, okay, don't need to get another one for four months. And I'd just let it grow out. I'd get sideburns down to here and that would flap around. I was known as the sideburn guy where I'd have like sideburns that were like wings that could go up to here. And I'd flap them around, like, as a joke. It became, like, that was, like, my sort of, like, joke thing. That's fucked. That's really fucked. <laughs> Maybe most people don't go to that extent, but I, I was. I just didn't get haircuts. I was like, oh, I'm growing out my hair. Get your hair cut every two weeks. Even if you're growing out your hair. I'm starting to grow out my hair, and I'm about to go to the haircuts tomorrow, right? I'm going to ask them to tidy things up with a scissor cut. You know, cut, you know, shorten down my sideburns, cut tidy up the sides, the back, but I want to keep growing out the length of my hair, give it a little more texture. I want a scissor cut, no razors, just, just a quick scissor cut to taper things up. People who grow out their hair, and I'm talking like with hair down to like here, like super long hair, but then the guys, they keep it like super well maintained and like fucking sexy, right? They're like buff and jacked as fuck, and they got really long hair. They straight up look like Aquaman, like 
they go to the they go to the barbers, barbers that specify for long hair for guys. They keep it tidy. They don't just let it get out of control. They go to the barbers like every two weeks. And also, 90% of guys, well, actually, it's like 89% of guys, have said that they feel 10 times more confident right after they get a haircut. Getting a haircut every two weeks, you know, after you get that haircut, it's a great confidence booster. Combine it with everything else I just said, it's a, this is a huge confidence booster. And people say that confidence is attractive, and it is. And that's a little bonus for you. Have some confidence in yourself, man. Confidence is attractive. Talk as if you're faking it. Literally fake it. Fake the confidence until you make it. That's what I used to do and it worked. I'd fake all the confidence and eventually I just started being more confident. I forgot when I stopped faking. It was really weird, but it works. There was a lot of information in that video, so save it if you want or pause and write down notes where you want to. And I hope this video helped you out. And I hope things have been good. I hope life has been good, man. And I would be really appreciative if you clicked on the video that's going to pop up in the corner. Because this video could help you out as well. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Oh yeah. Self-improvement kiss. Mwah.